Back here in Chicago, smash and grab thieves have struck again for the third day in a row. Thieves have used a stolen SUV to crash into a high-end store. WGN's Julian Cruz is live in the 1000 block of North Ashland with more on these cases. Julian. Well, Lourdes and Ben, the suspects failing to penetrate the Boneyard Chicago shoe store here on the 1100 block of North Ashland, but they caused major damage before abandoning their destructive effort. No one's helping us. The, the police can't catch these guys. You know, they come after the fact. Frustrated store owner Jacob, who asked us not to reveal his last name, stunned by this morning's incident. Video showing the assailants in what investigators believe might have been a stolen Jeep using the vehicle as a battering ram just after 4 o'clock this morning, failing to break through the Boneyard shoe store before backing up and trying it again and again. A security guard protecting the sneaker resale shop on the 1100 block of North Ashland quickly backing away after the would-be robbers flashed a gun. I don't expect him to have a gunfight right here in front of the store. It's just a deterrent, but obviously that one failed. This is the third time Jacob's store has been the target of thieves, he says, dating back to 2020, positioning these concrete barriers on the sidewalk in an effort to deter criminal activity. But Jacob says his local aldermanic office told him the barricades had to go. We had a conversation with them. I guess aesthetically they didn't like the way that the barricades looked. But Jacob says he'll make the case for the barricades again, which were taken away by the city in a meeting that he hopes to have next month with the office of First Ward Alderman Daniel LaSpada. Neighboring businesses on this busy commercial stretch of West Town, like Traditions Barber Parlor Number 4, just two doors down, working together to counteract the dangerous activity. Everybody on this block pretty much knows each other and we all look out for each other. Now, no immediate comment from Alderman La Spada this afternoon. The Alderman, we are told, is tied up at City Hall in budget talks. In West Town, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Okay, Julian.